This is a discussion of the slide for the malarial parasite Plasmodium vivax. Here is the taxonomy of Plasmodium. Plasmodium is parasitic and a human pathogen. It causes malaria by infecting red blood cells or erythrocytes. It is the most frequent and widely distributed cause of malaria. It's not as virulent as Plasmodium falciparum, which is by far uh, more lethal. The vivax parasite is transmitted by female Anopheles mosquitoes. Why females? Well, females are the only ones that bite and suck blood. They need the blood to help them lay their eggs. The males breed the females but don't feed on blood. You can identify infected blood by looking for little structures called trophozoites. There are many stages of trophozoites and I'm not going to go into them here but I will show you on the slide several examples of trophozoites that are inside the erythrocyte. Here is our slide of Plasmodium vivax using the 4x objective. This is often the hardest objective to use in trying to identify blood. Trying to get this in as much focus as possible is very difficult for students so you have to be very careful and try to slowly bring this into focus you can't really see any details at 4x but you have to get it in focus here before you go to the next objective the 10x and that will work because of what we call parfocal meaning that if it's in focus on 4x it will be in focus on 10x trying to jump straight to 10x usually takes more time than it's worth so let's look at this slide we're going to zoom in and use our 10x here is the same blood slide using the 10x objective we can see the blood cells a little better and these dark cells are leukocytes probably most of them are lymphocytes still we can't identify much we're gonna to have to go a little higher and get to the 40x objective now here using the 40x objective we see a lot of these red blood cells or erythrocytes now this is a leukocyte called a lymphocyte this would be an infected cell with a trophozoite in it and we can see a couple of infected cells here this one probably that's another form of leukocyte we're going to look at some other spots on the same slide now here is our next part of that same slide again we can see a lymphocyte this looks like an infected cell remember you're always going to find plasmodium vivax trophozoites inside or infecting these red blood cells. This looks like a trophozoite, possibly one of the later stages, but it's just as possible that that's a neutrophil. And this part of the slide shows us a couple of good infected cells infected with trophozoites. Still using the 40x objective. Here is another part of this, uh, the same slide using the 40x objective. There, there, there and there are some good examples of infected red blood cells. This is a different sample or different slide using the 40x objective. I jumped straight there. This person is a very sick individual. We can see a tremendous number of infected cells all scattered throughout here filled with trophozoites. Now Plasmodium vivax is not as virulent as falciparum but you can still die for it. More likely though you will just have extended symptoms meaning you'll get very very ill and all of the symptoms of malaria will will come out. This one often recurs as well uh, after initial treatment. The treatment of choice is chloroquine and that wraps up my discussion of Plasmodium vivax.